Hey guys, welcome to another Greg GNP video here on YouTube. Now, as the video title suggests, yeah, yeah, fuel prices in Russia versus the UK, and I have the luxury of doing Ireland as well because I live close to the border to the Republic of Ireland or the south of Ireland. And you might say, well, it's not really all that important, is it? Well, fuel prices have been rising, and it's nice to make that comparison. But do you remember this guy? Have a look at this. And uh, we are going to show you actual real prices right now in uh, supermarkets in Russia. So that is Dan. He is a Russian YouTuber. And we, of course, uh, looked at uh, his price comparisons whenever he went to a Russian supermarket and I of course had his shopping list as you know and I made a price comparison here so let's do it with fuel petrol diesel maybe gas prices if we can do it in this one prices have been rising all over the world not just in fuel but of course in food it's affecting all of us so this video is relevant to all of us no matter where you are in the world I'm sure you've felt the effects of the cost of living this cost of living crisis as it is in many countries so let's start because you've got to start somewhere and I've come to uh, well a uh, Tesco as it's known it's a Tesco filling station which is uh, quite close to uh, the local supermarket here as well Tesco supermarket so we've got to start somewhere let's uh, start with gasoline or petrol as some people call it and diesel I think we should include home heating oil as well that is kerosene so we'll start in the UK we'll have a look at his prices per litre and of course per gallon what it is for every gallon. It's probably going to be a lot more expensive in the UK and Ireland compared to Russia. I don't know. Let's see. But first of all, let's look at the prices here. So this is priced per litre, which is £1.57.9 for unleaded petrol or gasoline, okay? So we're looking at that per litre. We'll get the price on screen for a gallon. And diesel is £1.72.9, so £1.72.9 per litre. And we'll get that on screen for you as well. So that's it on screen. Hi guys, friends, adorables. Let's take a look what's happened with prices, with gasoline prices. For new friends, for not my subscribers, my name is Dan, I'm a simple Russian man and uh, I'm learning your beautiful language by old American movies. Now I'm going to show you the most expensive gasoline station in Russia. As for me, I don't use uh, this gasoline station, I uh, don't buy gasoline there because it's too expensive there. But some people, they like this gasoline station. Behind on me, the most expensive gasoline station in Russia. And uh, I'm gonna show you how their gasoline, co uh, their gasoline prices. All right, so Dan looks at different brands. That's a rhyme. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Ugh. Okay, so we are at Eurospar and the brand of fuel that's here is called Maxol. So I think it's only fair that if, if he's looking at different brands, well, different oil companies, then it's only fair that I do the same thing. So we're gonna do that. We've already seen one price. Let's see what these guys, Maxol, are charging. We're actually right up beside the big sign here, guys. So let's have a look. Okay, so unleaded. Basic unleaded 
gasoline or petrol is £1.66.9 per litre. We'll also get this on screen in American dollars and British pounds so that you can see what it is uh, per gallon. There all, there's also a premium on lead petrol here, gasoline, £1.72.9. There is diesel, £1.76.9. And we also have a premium in diesel, which is £1.79.9, almost £1.80 per litre. Wow, that's expensive. So we'll also get that on screen, what it is per gallon. So um, we'll, we'll have a look at these and see what it's like at different oil companies and what they charge. This one is called Maxol. So we are going to gasoline station number four, number two. Let's go. We are coming to the gasoline station number two. It was number one in my previous video. Look here. This is prices. Okay, so we are at another busy forecourt. Before we go into the south of Ireland, or the Republic of Ireland, uh, I thought, well, let's just have another price comparison. So it's pretty busy here. I've got to be careful that uh, I don't get knocked down. And it's noisy. There's a lot of traffic here. So we're just going to wait for the uh, price to come up here on this one. This brand is called Go. And it does display its prices, but I think we're just waiting on it to uh, come up here. Here we go, unleaded, £1.62.9 per litre. Well, there's kerosene, 99.9p .9 per litre. I did say I would cover ker kerosene, so almost one pound sterling per litre for home heating oil, kerosene. So there's diesel back on screen again, diesel. And um, yeah, I mean, this forecourt here does seem to... Oh yeah, they do have it actually. They do have it on the pumps here. There's kerosene. If we look at the pump here, we can see the blue sign. So there we go, that's the uh, sign for that one. Well next stop will be the south of Ireland. Sorry, I'm just watching the traffic here, guys, because this is a pretty busy forecourt. So, like I said, we are going to go south of the border into the Republic of Ireland. And that will be the next stop, just to see what it's like there. Let's do it. We are coming to the gasoline station number two. It was uh, t oh, sorry, number three. It was number two in my first video. Yeah. Brand new ladder here. Brand new cars. Okay, we are coming to Gazelle Station. Yes, and their prices. Okay, so we have looked at UK prices. I've just crossed the border from Northern Ireland into the Republic or the South of Ireland. We're going to look at prices here. 
The interesting thing is, when you cross the border on the sign which displays the prices, on the on one side it shows what it is per litre in sterling as you're coming from Northern Ireland, and then on the other side of the sign it shows you what it is in euro. But anyway, I know you might say, well, you know, prices fluctuate all the time. They sure do. Uh, In fact, oil prices fluctuate almost as often as the the weather temperature in Ireland. There you go. But we're just looking at uh, what it is today. And let me show you this because it's, uh, yeah, it is interesting. Here's the the big price sign that they have on the uh, side of the road. You know, and they show what it is in sterling. This is sterling pence per litre. Unleaded, £1.59.9. And then diesel, one pound, or one euro. Well, it is euro we're talking about anyway. But one, yeah, it is pound, yeah, pound. One pound, 66.9. This is, this is where it might get a little bit confusing. Because we're dealing uh, with euro and sterling. So we'll do that, get that on screen. You can see, okay, what it is per litre in American currency, euro, and of course, sterling, we can see it there, and also what it is for a gallon, okay? Right then, so next, on the other side of this sign, let's have a look. When we move around to the other side, we see it in euro. So this would be our first euro price, and uh, in euro, on let it one euro eighty eight point seven. Then diesel is one ninety six point nine euro. Again, we know what it is in euro, so we just need to see what that is in sterling, and also work that out per gallon. What it is per gallon, guys, and already we'll start to see price differences we'll start to see price differences on all of those things so we'll do that when I say price differences we will see the price differences coming into effect now so uh, let's do that venture more into the south just a few mo- actually believe it or not a few kilometers further into the south or a few miles further in the price usually tends to be a little bit cheaper these are a little bit more pricey here because it is so close to the border which is that way and we're going to go this way further in to the south of ireland see what it's like just a few kilometers in let's see okay let's go to another gasoline station of this brand they have this brand have two gasoline stations let's go to The, the, their second gasoline station. Okay, I'm gonna park my car here. Here. Okay. I'm gonna go without car there because it's difficult to turn around there. Yeah? Okay, and uh, I see, I see prices. Beautiful County Donegal from a busy roadside and oh no the sign's not even working 
but it doesn't matter. We can even read it off the pumps if we have to. Oh, here's a sign anyway. Let's see. Diesel. Oh, they're doing all the work for me here because we're getting it in euro and we're getting it in sterling. So one euro 94.9 or it translates to one, one pound 62 is your conversion there. All right, so we got we know what diesel is. Um, commercial diesel, well, a lot of trucks, tractors, commercial vehicles. Let's see. Here's a sign over here, actually. And it's a kind of quiet forecourt here. There's not many customers about. So unleaded gasoline or petrol, one euro eighty seven point nine. And diesel, one euro ninety seven point nine. So we'll get that conversion for you, as you can see. And the oil company, or brand in this case, is Go. There's, been, there's quite a few of them around. Same thing can't be said about the forecourt, it's pretty quiet here. In beautiful Donegal, look at that. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's the price comparison made. Russian fuel prices versus UK fuel prices versus Irish fuel prices. We've seen the differences, and I'm just, I think you'll agree. Interesting. So anyway, don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. All this stuff costs. Subscriptions are free here in YouTube. So, till the next time. Goodbye. On slide one here, there's three more slides to come. But in this first one, and this was the first uh, comparison that we made, look at the bottom here. So the actual price of diesel that we pay per gallon in the UK as seen in this video, is £7.80. At the present exchange rate, that works out at $9.57. Imagine you guys paying almost $10, double the price, for a gallon of diesel. But I think it is fair to say that some governments in the world really do have very, very high taxes on fuel. For example, in the south of Ireland, where I crossed the border into the Republic of Ireland, if you spend, let's say, €10, Euro, OK, 10 bucks on fuel, it won't get you very much. But to give you an idea of fuel taxes, three quarters of that goes to the Irish government. Seven euro fifty or around about that. They take as much as that in taxes, which is colossal. Anyway, let's just run these other slides as you can see. I know some of you will be saying, yeah, but it's all relevant. The cost of living, people earning less money in their jobs in Russia and so on. So everything balances out and so on. And yes, I agree. And remember too, prices fluctuate continuously. In this video, we were making comparisons in the month of May 2022. It could change next week, never mind next month. But it's still interesting to make these little comparisons. Also in this video, we visited four filling stations, or gas stations if you like, ranging from the most inexpensive to some of the most expensive, just as Dan did in Russia. But if you're watching this video in somewhere like the United States of America, I'm sure you're pretty shocked at some of the prices. I know that some, maybe some of the US states have frozen fuel tax. I watch American truck drivers on YouTube and one of them I think was talking about, was it Ohio? Whatever state it was had decided to freeze the fuel tax, keeping the price lower, paying only $5 for a gallon. As always, with all of my videos, I always encourage you to give me your thoughts in the comments section below this video. And please, give the video a like, and always, always feel free to subscribe, because remember, it's literally free to subscribe. No charge here for this. There is on these things, as you can see. In the meantime, take care.